We're in West Bank, BC, in the heart of the reserve. And I'm part of this heavy equipment operators course, and yeah, I'm loving it. With uh, Emil Anderson for about a year, but my whole life growing up, I was exposed to it a lot. My dad always showed me all the, the equipment. We get our class time, go through all that, and then after we get to go on the equipment for a couple hours and get used to it. When you leave here, at the end of the day, you know you're more familiar with the machines and a basic understanding of how they work and what they do. Yeah, I think it's amazing for the fact that clients actually get a lot of hours on the equipment. So usually when they go for training in this field, they get a couple of hours, but not necessarily everything they need to be successful. So it's more than just an education. They're getting the hours that employers are looking for when they make their hiring decisions. Give them a huge leg up compared to everybody else. The cool thing about these projects is it's based on what the community needs. So it actually comes from the partnerships between the institutions, employers, and education providers. So they actually create the project and then present it to us to see if there's a need to fill it. So it's extremely flexible, completely customizable for what employers need and what the issues they're facing. As an association, uh, we're funded by uh, construction companies uh, who will join our association. Um, and so what that provides us with is an opportunity to actually bring an employer to the table. So we uh, very clearly understand what their needs are. Uh, they've communicated a need for skilled workers uh, and this provided us an opportunity to fill that void. It deals with uh, Velocity's capability to do the training on the ground and to essentially provide skilled workers for uh, our construction community that needs those workers. I'm responsible for civil construction for various projects throughout the Southern Interior. I hire many different uh, contractors, including Aboriginal businesses. Adam Christian worked with us a number of years ago. Adam approached us to see if we could get back on. In his absence, he had attained some further training, uh, equipment operating, and uh, brought that back with him for us. And uh, we've been able to utilize that and uh, make him more employable with us and, uh, and just add more resources for us that way. Velocity offered from other safety training, different tickets on top of the operating stuff, yeah. They bring their training to you instead of you having to go to them, which was big. Their instructors are competent and they have just good leadership in that nice atmosphere. The success rate is high. I think we're seeing something like 80% passing rate. Really of greater importance, we're seeing something like a high 70% employment rate. So not only are they completing the course, they're getting these skill training, they're learning how to operate mobile equipment, at the same time learning how to maintain the equipment, how to work around it safely. It provides them with a broad range of skills. I think the biggest thing is that if anyone has any questions around employment, come and talk to us. You know, a lot of employers aren't sure what could be a good fit or what is something that would actually work. And what we found, especially in the employment program, is there's so many things that we can do that's hard for us to describe it in one soundbite. So if they come and have that conversation, we can really see how we can work together.